loathe cosplay. The choice is yours. Cosplayer Su Hun shares her thoughts on this matter. What we can do is educate the new cosplayer or educate our friends around us that um, cosplay, what is cosplay and what it is not. And uh, try to encourage them to participate as well. Negative feedback with regards to cosplaying demotivates cosplayers. Su Hun has her own way of coping with people who try to undermine her passion. For those who actually want to talk about it, like, um, hey, why do you like cosplay so much? Of course, I'll engage in a conversation. But for those that really shun themselves, like, oh, you're a weirdo, I don't think I really bother to take time to explain to them. I mean, if that is how you judge me, how great a friend can you be, right? Su Hun takes offense when people say cosplay is the same as modeling. She believes it's a totally different art. The difference is that cosplayers are free to act and pose according to their own interpretation of their characters, while models take instruction from photographers. So it kind of hurt, um, kind of like an insult when people say it's part of modeling when it is actually not. <laughs> Working as a lecturer in a college, Adrian is well known amongst his students for his cosplay hobby. Yes, they are curious. Some are interested, some are not interested. But uh, most of them will find it interesting. Uh, because sometimes uh, while in the lab, and during the time they see me do, and sometimes they walk past, they see me do also. So it's no secret. In fact, everyone knows I cosplay. His current project, improving on the latest version of his Doctor Doom costume. He's even won the best cosplayer prize in the 2005 Comic Fiesta with an earlier version. At that time, my skills are not so good and my whole face is pachala chala. There's no exotic metal in his costume as he uses any material that he can find. For him, most of his costumes are produced based on trial and error. He never sketches out blueprints for his costumes because he believes his imagination is his best tool. Uh, all, you, all you need is what you want and it will come. His latest costume consists of many parts that must be joined together. Adrian uses a harness to attach all the parts to form one complete costume. So, cosplay it's a hobby, but hobby, there must be passion, there must be dedication, and sometimes sacrifice. Mm. There you are, real metal. So hopefully they do not bar me from the event. Like Adrian, who stores his costumes in a lab, Siu Hun's fabric costumes are easily kept in her room. She always experiments sewing new costumes for different competitions. For me, every project is a new experience. I myself do not have a sewing background. My first, starting from my first costume itself, it's like a, a trial and error thing. So for every new costume, there will be new concepts. So most of the time it's trial and error. Sometimes it works, sometimes it might not. So the frustration can come from there sometimes. But at the end of the day, when you see the end product, uh, the, the satisfaction comes from there. Siu <laughs> Hun's undying passion for cosplay has bagged her various awards. So the satisfaction comes from the completion of the costume in one piece. And uh, when we appear in public, people recognize the character. 
and sort of like an approval that, hey, you look like that character, things like. Her previous wins are something she's proud of, and Siu looks forward to winning the next one. Adrian, although he has only emerged as a champion once, he does not plan to retire. But my main achievement is every time when I come out with the cosplay, everyone will turn heads and look at me. That's my main achievement. For the upcoming event, Adrian has high hopes of winning again. Doctor Doom appeared in Com Comic Fest 2005. He won Best Cosplayer, Comic Cosplayer then. So this year in 2011, Doctor Doom intend to return and reclaim his crown. <laughs>